March is Women's History Month, and that gives us a time to reflect on the past. But what about the women entrepreneurs of the future who are breaking barriers? Joining us now is the CEO and co-founder of Tico Coffee Roasters, Mariana Ferrin Gutierrez. Mariana, thank you so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay. Thank you so much for having me and inviting me today in this special celebration. Yes, of course, it is a special celebration. Yes. We need to celebrate women all month long. Well, it is. Really, all year all long. All year long. <laughs> yes. But I'm so glad you're here. Yes. Um, and I'd first love to talk about your business, Tico Coffee Roasters. Mm -hmm. Tell me how you first got into the coffee business. Okay. I moved, I'm originally from Costa Rica and I moved to the Bay 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, at that time, there was not really a lot of traceability in the Bay Area, a lot of uh, great quality, more like telling real stories about the farmers and mm -hmm. what they are going through. And so I set the mission to start a coffee business that first of all, bring high quality, mm -hmm. but also bring stories and creates real partnerships, like lasting partnerships with farmers around the world. And I'm glad that you mentioned the partnerships. Yes. What kind of partnerships do you have with farmers and why is that so important to your business? So we are committed to buy a year after year from several farmers in different countries. And the reason why we do that is because we believe that we want to have great quality for the coffees that we offer to our customers. Mm -hmm. uh, that's very important. But also it's important that we support them financially. So we pay double and fair trade prices for all of the coffees that we buy uh, per pound. And also support in terms of um, feedback, sustainable practices, uh, empowerment for women and as a woman immigrant from Costa Rica, my mission is also to highlight the, the work of women at the farm level or mm -hmm. at the export level. Uh, they're working a lot, they're doing great things, but their stories are not all the time shared. And I think that is very important to recognize and to, to highlight and open more doors for them. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm, I'm glad that you mentioned that because you really are breaking barriers in the coffee industry. Mm -hmm. It's mainly a male dominated industry, but you being a woman and a strong woman having your own business, how have you seen that evolve since you've been in the business? It is definitely has changed. When I moved to, to the Bay, as I, as I mentioned, there was really not many women and even less immigrants mm -mm. in the industry or roasting coffee. Uh, so being able to to have, I guess, the strength and the resilience to just go for it, right? Like I really wanted this and wanted to make a change. Uh, I started with no network, no um, basically knowledge of the market. I started the business three years after I moved to the United States. Oh, wow. So it was really like determination to, to make this work and to believe in, in the change that the company can make, not just through quality and making people life better, but also through coffee, uh, the lives of farmers in other countries. Well, you are just doing some amazing things and opening so many doors for women in the coffee industry. So thank you, Mariana, thank for your you. efforts. Now I'd love to talk about some of the products yes. that you brought with you today. Let's first start over here. Can you walk me through some of the bags of coffee that you brought? Yes, yeah, so the one that is on the top with the pink label is one of uh, our new blend, one? and it's a Café de Olla blend, which is very popular in Mexico and Central America. It is a pre-ground coffee that has all the ingredients that are necessary to prepare Café de Olla. And Café de Olla means um, coffee in the pot. Basically, ah, you okay. put all the ingredients, the coffee, cinnamon, nutmeg, some people put orange as well, and brown sugar or piloncillo. Mm -hmm. And you cook it slowly and then you serve it. But good. <laughs> people have different recipes. Some people have tried to emulate it. In the market, unfortunately, you find instant coffee, which I think is a disservice, again, to farmers, mm -hmm. right? And they hide the uh, uh, effort that they do. So we decided to take it to the next level. So it's ready. It's pre-mixed with the spices, organic sugar, and it's pre-ground. So you just have to make it at home and enjoy it. You don't have to worry that you didn't put too much or not enough. It's just it's, the perfect It's ready enough. to enjoy. Yes. <laughs> yes. I love that. Okay, so that's this one over here. Yes. And what about this bag? That one is uh, very nice uh, in... I would say like empowering and inspiring story. It is produced 100% by Mayan women in Chiapas in Mexico. Wow. So it, there are more than 80 women, very small farmers, working in their coffee mm -hmm. plots. And uh, it's highlighted uh, with their stories on our website. And we have been working with this group of farmers about four, four or five years already. Mm, yeah, that is so incredible. And which one of these are we tasting today? Because I would love to get to this yes. tasting part and taste some of this delicious So the coffee. one that we're tasting is the one on the bottom. 
Um, Perfect. The one up front. No, it's here in the front. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's okay. No worries. <laughs> it's from Costa Rica. It's Finca uh -huh. San Luis. And that's a single estate. Uh, it's one of the favorites, one of our best sellers at the moment. And it's produced by a very young uh, woman farmer. Her name is Daniela Gutierrez. Oh my and we goodness. are not related, but we have the same last name. That's so cool, <laughs> yes. though. So you're yes. highlighting so many women yes. farmers out there. Congrats to you. Well, can we try this? Of course, yes. I will let you do the honors yes. if you'd like to pour this for us. I will. And this is so cool, like Mariana mentioned, this one that we are um, taking a sip of here has, um, is an, a female farmer. How cool is that for Women's History Month? I love that. Thank you. You're welcome. So this is I'll join the you. coffee with, with um, all the ingredients already pre-mixed in it, you said, right? Uh, no, this is the Finca San Luis, and this is just, um, it, it doesn't have any ingredients. It's just pure coffee. Perfect. Yes. So we're, we're tasting it straight yes. up. Okay, let's... Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> and I'm going to blow on it just a little bit. Yeah. So it's a very clean coffee. It has a lot of chocolate Ooh. notes, a little bit of oh candied goodness, orange. Oh, so good. Uh, and just last November, we got... Coffee has rankings, like in wine, mm -hmm. like in the wine industry. And we got um, a score of 91 points with this coffee. Wow. For the quality and the representation of a very classic and very clean Costa Rican coffee. So if people would like to get some of your coffee, yes. where can they reach you? Uh, online, our website is www.ticoroasters.com. Perfect. And On Instagram, so at Tico Roasters. Wonderful. Yes. Well, Mariana, you are just so awesome, and you're doing incredible things for women in the coffee Thank industry. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank we you for inviting it. me. <laughs>